I think it's really interesting how this book approaches women. Uh, Anya Sanwu is, like I said, she becomes a sorceress. She has like magical powers, but people people don't want to train her. People don't want to come near her, and she has a relationship with this guy Muita, and. He wants to be a sorcerer, but he can't. He just, he didn't pass the sorcerer test. And to a point, there's some tension there because he feels like, and everyone feels like, that men should be sorcerers. And part of that is because women, for some reason, are more dangerous and, like, volatile. The kind of inclusion of technology sort of there but also sort of broken down and like heaped in caves is really interesting what happened I would love to know because I never really get to that what actually happened they kind of have a creation myth but it doesn't really include how they got to that point you know of this new creation myth uh, but there are computers piled up in places but they also use technology to like capture water and things like that and there's technology in their homes and they have like laser scalpels and stuff like that so it's a really interesting mixture of like hey you know stuff got screwed up but we still have some of these tools to use while having to kind of like take a step back and do things a little bit differently so an interesting mix of like technology and not technology one more thing and then like I said I'm gonna wrap it up but the way that the book kind of, there, like I said, there's some, I hate to kind of boil it down to a couple of different points. There's so much more going on in this book. But the way that it kind of talks about how, you know, you see in war, there's like a bad guy and a good guy. When in reality, like the good guys are doing things just like the bad guys are doing. You know, they're not necessarily the good guys. They're just the guys that happen to be on your side. Um, that kind of gray area that I think we lack when we're dealing with, like, fantasy sci-fi fiction, you know, um, especially for younger audiences. Like, I just feel like a lot of times it's like, there's the bad guy, go kill the bad guy, but this kind of, like, makes you question, who is the bad guy? Who's really the worst here? Because, you know, the there are, like, two different types of people um, different like cultures and the one culture is bad and like rapes and pillages and stuff but the other culture kind of in response does the same things and enslaves people just like the first culture does it's a mess so there are no good guys in war and I think that's definitely important and really vital for this book it was really great <laughs> <laughs>